Do you need to replace the motherboard on your Dell Latitude 5430? Well, I'm gonna show you how. Also, you can click the top right of the screen to find this part or tools or additional help on our website, including written step-by-step -step tutorials with detailed images. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. All right, the first thing that you'll do is unscrew the bottom base cover. Then you can use a plastic scribe to pry open and separate the bottom base cover. To prevent static discharge, I recommend disconnecting your battery before moving any further. I also recommend sorting out your screws as you take apart your laptop. It'll make it that much easier during reassembly. Now unscrew and remove the battery. Now, there are two SSD types available for this model, the 2230 and the 2280. They are pretty easy to distinguish by their physical size, and I'll outline the removal process for them both now. First, unscrew and remove the 2230 thermal plate. Then, unscrew and remove the SSD holder from the motherboard. Next, unscrew and remove the 2280 thermal plate. Then, slide out the 2280 solid-state drive. Now, unscrew and remove the Wi-Fi bracket. Then disconnect the antenna cables and slide out the Wi-Fi card. Now unclip the locking tab and disconnect the LED board. Now disconnect the speakers. Next unscrew and remove the inner frame. Now use your fingertips to separate the locking tabs. Once the memory sticks are unlocked, you can slide them out. Next, disconnect the CMOS battery. Now unscrew the LCD bracket and disconnect the LCD cables. Then unclip the locking tabs to disconnect the touchpad and USH cables. Now disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. Now unscrew and disconnect the heatsink fan assembly. Then lift the heatsink fan assembly off of the motherboard. Now unscrew and remove the motherboard. The reassembly of your laptop is as simple as following your steps in reverse. Before replacing your heatsink, it's important to wipe away any old thermal paste from your CPU and heatsink. Note, for maximum cooling of the processor, do not touch the heat transfer areas on the heatsink and CPU. The oils on your skin can reduce the heat transfer capability of the thermal paste. Then apply a small amount of thermal paste to the CPU before replacing your heatsink. If you still need help, you can visit partspeople.com and view printable DIY instructions to help you along the way. We also have playlists of thousands of Dell tutorials for hundreds of different models, so keep checking back. Thanks for watching.